Hey guys, this is Rade from Rade Garage. Today we would like to explain you how to install the Rade Garage auxiliary tank uh, for 701 Iger Enduro Super Motard. Uh, it's the same, uh, so you can use it on both type of bikes. Yeah, so first, guys, before you start the installation, please make sure that the main tank is empty. Yeah, uh, We recommend you to go for some nice trip uh, and, and dry it completely. Then take the bike into the garage and prepare it for the installation. It means remove the seat, very easy thing, and take a hexagon. The front panels are on uh, four bolts, yeah? So just lose them, take away the front panels. The rear panels are a little bit more tricky, but nothing difficult. Here you just pull out. Uh, here is one bolt. From the bottom here behind the exhaust is another bolt. And here we recommend to remove these two bolts uh, from the cover heat plate and take this, uh, take, take this outside, yeah, the same on the other side, of course, and then you have the bike ready uh, for the installation itself. For the next step, which means removing the airbox, yeah, you take number eight uh, key, here is one bolt, here is second bolt, on the other side here there is a cooler you need to remove first, then you remove the bolt, fourth bolt, yeah. Uh, second thing, you need similar tool like this, but this M6, there are two hose clamps, uh, you need to release the one closer to the engine, yeah? So you need to find it carefully and release it. Next step is you remove the tubes here. There is one and there goes to the bottom another one. So release both of them and take a screwdriver because you need to lift up the flange from the intake. Yeah, so it's easier, but carefully and you release it like this. It jumps out, you put it here and then Carefully, you take out, um, you take out uh, the airbox. Yeah. Now you have the airbox outside. Now we need to take out the OEM in tank flange. It's quite long, longer than it looks like on the first side. So you take this out, and you need to put it inside the airbox. Good is to find the bit point. And you need to bend it a little bit and then take it on yeah, and then put back uh, the clamps. Uh, ideally I think both on, on the bottom. It's easier to work, work with them like, like this. Yeah. So now you have the OEM uh, flange inside. Uh, now we need to return back to the airbox because we need to take out as well the, the heat sensor. Uh, with small hexagon. Yep. I'll have it. And here on the airbox is again our pre drilled uh, the holes where you tight it. Yeah, and then actually you have the airbox ready to put in the motorbike. Um, you, what is important? What you can see here is already the, the foam filter. Um, here is the inside cage and this is the outside frame that holds actually the foam in its place. Now finally we can install the airbox. You can before, you can see um, the tubes. So one goes here, uh, here is the T and this one is ready for the for installation of the airbox. So just put it put it in uh, before inserting the airbox uh, make sure you have here the heat sensor connected yeah um, and now push it on the intake you will see that it kind of click and then push it there carefully now I am having in the head and uh, the tank holder um, it goes here actually to the same holes as the OEM airbox you take M6 by 20 or M6 by 16. Important thing: the bolt goes from inside to avoid rubbing the tank uh, by the by the nut. Uh, and you do the same thing on the other side here. Uh, then it's good to prepare the Velcro strap. It goes like this around the around the frame tube. It's the sticky part is on top, and then you tighten it like this, and it press the tanks down against the bracket, yeah, this is the important thing. Uh, now we take the tank, uh, you put the you put the gas tank on uh, gas tube on it and you first you put it in yeah. 
so that is good that it goes here first now you can you can prepare just like this yeah and fit up, up, up. and you sit actually the, the tank in front it sits on the frame tube yeah so there is no any holder in there just put it like this is little bit eccentric because on this side is the hardest so this is nothing wrong yeah, and here in the in the, in the back of the tank it sits on a, on a bracket then I take the, the velcro strap yeah, and I tighten it actually like this and, and that's all this is actually the, the final step uh, we need to connect the auxiliary tank with the OEM tank here in the bottom there is cover and holder of the fuel pump yeah? so you release all these four bolts you making sure that the tank is drying otherwise you get a lot of fuel in your hands which is not a really pleasant thing then you see here are these small two hooks yeah they are here and there you take small screwdriver to be able to release it out yeah then next operation is you need to drill here a hole diameter about 8, uh, 9, uh, 10 millimeters the more important thing is that it is actually positioned against this outflow yeah so either you do the mark before drilling like this that it's against it yeah or you put it on you take a small drill you you do a small mark inside then you drill again yeah how full if this is flexible not tightened uh, now you be always careful with the full pump because there is a lot of wires and electrics yeah, uh, you put it in carefully uh, both hooks inside yeah suck that's a, that's the noise you you need to hear yeah, and now again carefully yeah here in the bottom just make sure it fits well and you take the bolts I think it's M5 by 50 or 55, I don't remember now by heart. Yeah. And when tightening, you have to be very, very careful. You have to tighten it well. If not, there is leaking the gas. If you uh, tighten it too much, you destroy the, the thread. Connecting the, the tanks together through the petcock, I just tighten it here to help to have, uh, hands free. There are two options, two ways to do it. Either uh, you take it like this, and you cable tie, uh, you zip tie um, on the tube here. This one, make sure you use zip ties so it doesn't touch the engine. The fuel tube it goes somewhere around, and it's as far away as possible from the exhaust, of course. Yeah, you take, uh, you cut it here, you connect. Um, some people who remove the SAS, they take a bolt, they place it here. This one tube okay, goes from outside, as I said. Second option is you take it from here, from inside, but you have to go above the spring, and from here you connect it here. Uh, both uh, options are possible, yeah, so it's up to you which one, which one you choose. Uh, guys, we are done. The tank is there. Now you can enjoy uh, more than 100 extra kilometers full range, which is very beneficial, while keeping the same size of the bike uh, having the same agility of the bike, having the same handling of the bike, which is the second but very important benefit of auxiliary tank from Rade Garage. The video is pretty short. In reality, you need two, three hours, depend how clever mechanic you are. But we always think when designing our parts to have it as simple as possible for installation. And I think this tank, it's not uh, rocket science to install it. You saw it in video. Uh, so now we wish you a uh, smooth installation and a uh, lot of adventure rides without tanks.